41, um, the Governance Group MOU. Andrew, did you have some changes to this? So there are some amendments which have, or some changes which have already been provided, so they're there. Um, Delegate, yep, that's fine. And I'll come back and make some comments on those at the appropriate time. Okay. Oh. Qu question. Um, it's really around, uh, it's been raised about the c concern about sedimentation coming in from the Port Hills and into the harbour. And I just want some assurance, uh, Clive, that in fact sufficient modelling has been done around sedimentation, particularly in relation to any change in sea, in, um, in fl in sea flows, given that there's a much bigger reclamation area going out now. Has, in your view, has there been sort of sufficient modelling done so that in fact we can be assured that the increased um, reclamation area with the reclamation isn't going to actually add to the sedimentation issues around the inner harbour. Okay. Um, With modelling, I'm not certain that that has been done um, in an integrated way, but certainly the Littleton Port Company, as part of its uh, recovery plan, has um, some work that was done by Derek Goring in 2014, which was to look at the implications of the port recovery plan on waves and tidal current in the Littleton Harbour. And uh, the, obviously the executive summary of that has stated that uh, while wave impacts um, in localised areas around the port will change, and that um, with the expansion of uh, the port, that the obviously tidal movement in the, navi the navigation channel will increase, the tidal strength will increase, but that is likely to be offset by the, when they actually do the dredging and deepen that area, so it will re return to the way it was in former former situation. So is the expectation then that it would, once the dredging was done, it would, would return? Yes. And that it wouldn't require ongoing increased dredging and maintenance costs? Whether there's an ongoing requirement for dredging in the immediate future, I'm not sure. But I know that the Littleton Port is looking at having um, sensors out into the, in the harbour right through to the entrance, looking at wave and other hydrodynamic um, uh, matters that are going on to ensure that the dredging that they undertake is as is, is they expect it to. The environmental effects are, is what they expected. Thanks Clive. Perhaps it might be useful when you've got the results of that monitoring for mm -hmm. that perhaps to come to council. Yeah, That will certainly be part of the overall project plan work, research work that will be um, formulated and brought together around this whole management plan. Yeah, thank you. Cool, okay. Move to Andrew. Um, I've got an amendment to the wording actually if I can okay. of right. point five because it needs to be um, strengthened <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Um, and I'm sure this is probably exactly the same. No, it wasn't just anticipating that. I've got some wording here as well. But um, it is the, yeah, the, so for working party, we need to, so that we're using the same language that's in the MOU, we need to refer to that as the Fakaraupo Partners Project Team. Right. So as the Fakaraupo Partners Project Team. Yep. And, and rather than ask, I would like to um, use something a little bit stronger. I think require would be good there rather than ask. Asking is one thing, but I think we're saying this needs to happen. And um, in developing the plan was the other part. So it's not just informing them about the project plan. It's to engage with them in developing the plan. So to engage with the harborside communities in developing the plan as early as possible. So it's not just, this is what we've done now, we're coming to tell you about it. It's actual engagement in the development of the plan. Okay, right. Okay. As the Fakarapu project, the project team to engage with the require that, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. It's, it's a requirement rather than a request. Okay. And it's a little bit more specific about no what requests to be done. No problems. If you actually look at the report, which is the, the project plan, which is on the second to last page of that attachment two, one of the milestones is to meet with the, the community and stakeholders okay. and the dates in there in that table are going to be adjusted in the next week or so because that plan is resting on all the parties signing up to this um, MOU. Okay. Right. Okay, so moved 
Oh, Andrew and seconded. Can I just make a comment? Yeah, briefly. go for it. Yeah. Oh, look, it's just briefly, to, um, I think clearly there's a result of some excellent and work and very hard work. And I want to thank Andrew in helping lead this, but also the, uh, Paul, the community board and the staff. Like, I think this is a good position for us to be in, and the amendments today hopefully will help it progress. Yeah. Mm. Okay. More, but wait, there's more. I'll just make some comments if I may. Okay, you can. Um, yep. So I'm, I'm pleased to see again the, the amendment and the additions to the uh, original resolution. There is been and there will continue to be a high level of interest in local communities in the health of the harbour for some time um, and communities certainly are already very interested in what's going on here and I think it's important that we involve the, um, the community board, the zone committee and the local communities in the development of this project as much as we possibly can so there's a good level of information there so that there's a good level of, of community buy-in to what's happening community support for what's happening but also so that the huge amount of local knowledge is able to be taken into account in the development of this project so this is a piece of work which has been talked about in many different ways for a long time and it just so happens that here we are doing it because it's a, an action dropping out of the um, recovery plan but in terms of the health of the harbour in terms of sedimentation issues in terms of a, a stock take of a huge amount of really good work which has already been done and in terms of outcomes for um, water quality recreation mahengakai and a number of other outcomes um, this is is very positive and this represents a, a significant step along the way to actually getting some of those good outcomes realized so happy to support it today oh okay I'll put it we have got a second day haven't we I'll second it yeah four seconds okay I'll put that those in favor please say aye aye, aye. those opposed Very good. thank you I've got item